I then that's when I braved the shade because yeah. it was just. You got great hair, so. Thank you. That's a positive. I think it's going back curly. I think I'm getting that they chemo say that curl, but I'm. Say that. A lot of people say that. Like so. It started growing back, yeah. and like my hair usually, I've got like long blonde hair, right. so it was quite hard for my lost hair. And now it's growing back, I'm trying to like embrace this new look, yeah. but I don't know how to style it. Okay. Like it's all quite sprouty. Okay. My hair's naturally really thick, and luckily okay. after chemo, it's still growing back quite thick. Okay. But I feel yeah. like it's quite weighty and heavy up here. Yeah. So when I'm trying to style it, it feels quite puffy or just. Yeah. I've got my friend's wedding next month yeah. and I think like I'm trying I look up pixie cuts and up slick do because it's so thick yeah, I find yeah. it hard to style yeah, I just yeah, yeah okay, I want to cool. I want to grow it out yeah but I just need help with maybe tidying it up so this is about what three and a half four months I grow through isn't it so January I had no hair in January okay. Yes, yeah, just, yeah, about, yeah, about yeah. that. Okay. So, easy. There's loads of stuff you can do. Really? In fact, at the end of it, you'll probably feel a little bit longer in places. Really, just okay. Just hair's quite lumpy and thick, which yeah, is a fantastic yeah, yeah. thing. But it just needs... I mean, I won't really cut anything off lengthwise. Yeah. It's just cutting into it. Okay. And showing you again how to style it. But here, do you always wear glasses? Not all the time, no. no. So, we can, so, I only reasonably say that if, you, if it's too much like around here, you feel a bit like it's too much Yeah, yeah, on. yeah. But, we just need to soften it, basically. I think so, yeah. Soften it so you can like wear it around in a much easier way. I just want to put it behind your ears and start to get it to do that. Yeah. Have these bits. And basically go into it. It need, When your hair's... Because you've had it all short, it's grown out. Basically, it's all grown out round. So it needs to almost square it up a little bit. Right? And you know when you say here, that sort of doing that, what that is, is it's kind of angled like this. Yeah, okay. So all we probably need to do is just slightly square this corner, which is like that off. Yeah. yeah. And then we just texturise this area, and then straight away, that's going to bring out a lot more light. Okay. Because your hair at the moment is only one colour, it's hard to show you the texture. Yeah. So you've got, and because it's thick, you've always got to cut into it a little bit, shape it, so that starts to bring it out really nicely. And straight away, I can see, yeah. a little bit will go a long way on yours. Yeah. And even like here, that's quite heavy. So yeah. Just soften that slightly. So it, will, it won't feel short, but it'll just feel like, Renewed. Yeah, really that's what I want. And a few people are like, if you want to grow it, just don't cut it. But it's like, it's all no, just it going to grow. Yeah. I need to do something with it to help me while I'm growing it out. Yeah, because if you don't do anything now, in about three, four months' time, you're basically going to have a Lego head. Exactly. And you don't want yeah, that. I mean, like, I already yeah. started looking like yeah. Jim Carrey from Dumb Dumber, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, a couple of months it's ago. Gonna, yeah. It's not a good look. Yeah, you're going to have, like, this. It's just, you need to concentrate on this. Yeah. Soften texture, rebalance. Yeah. This is kind of good. Soften this a little bit and soften this slightly. Yeah. And then... It will be super. Like, this is sitting really lovely here. Like, that okay. is so nice. Yeah. Um, but that just starts to go a little bit mullety, which I think yeah. is good. We'll leave that. I'll soften it slightly there, take some weight. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you don't want that any short to do. I think leave I, it for now. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Whatever what you think. I'm going to grow it out. Because that's really nice as a shape. Okay. I wouldn't do some gels, but otherwise it's going to feel quite short and take the sort of feminine element away from it. Okay. And then it's really just about shaping this, so you kind of enhance this with us naturally. Yeah. So you almost wash your hair, put a bit of product in, on a daily and just let it kind of naturally dry you just sort of do this yeah because at the moment you kind of do that but where it's lumpy it does yeah that. yeah so yeah, yeah. Kind of and then i've been i'm in an ahhing about coloring it because yeah. i did you usually have like nice long blonde hair and have yeah, it highlight, yeah. highlighted but again i'm like would that work with this kind of length hair do you think i should you just leave do. it for now you can do i think like, what would you really nice and really suits you yeah i think I yeah think it's lovely. so i personally would leave it for a while. Yeah. Just because when your hair's a bit shorter and it's curly and stuff. I mean, it depends on what you want to do. You could do a few little bit soft things if the sun's lightened it. So it yeah. Because I think I want to leave my blonde. I want to leave my blonde era in the past, yeah, like pre-cancer And I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna keep. Maybe I might keep my auburn hair. Yeah. But I, I like. I maybe want like a bit of like blonde framing around my face, yeah. or like you said, some lightening. But I'm not sure if that works with this length or just to wait I a little bit. I leave it a little bit longer. Okay. Your hair grows about a fingernail a month. Okay. So a couple of months' time, your hair will be that much longer, which means it's around the like, eyebrow level. Mm -hmm. then doing something. Okay. I would say. All right. Just to get the proportions right. Um, okay. But for now, I mean, you could do it now. Yeah. But I'm happy to wait. I'd wait a little bit because yeah. I think, and you're kind of so nice. Yeah, it is nice. I know. Mm. I know it is quite nice. So yeah. I think I want to keep it, but mm. I quite like a bit of yeah. blonde to frame or like that. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how you want to be perceived. At the moment, with your hair length, if you this is more striking 
actually colouring it now. Really? Okay. I think. Okay. Which I think is good. Yeah. Whereas the only other strike within the chain is that it's all being wrong, like the scalp. Of course. You no. If you do a little bit, I, I feel maybe that would, it would look good, but I don't think it, it takes away from what it actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, and this looks good. nice, to be honest. Like I had a red lip on at the weekend, and it all looked yeah, quite nice together. Yeah. And, okay. It looks so good. So I wouldn't, yeah, then as it gets a bit longer, once you, because what we want to do with this, if you want to grow it out and get it longer, yeah. you want to kind of put it in a square shape and letting it grow, get this a bit longer, start to square this off a little bit as it gets grow, so this length kind of gets to like around here. Yeah. And then once you've got that kind of Frankie Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was actually looking at her patient yeah. yesterday. I was like looking at all her different lengths yeah. and I'm gonna know like when does it get long enough to maybe have a short extension here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have to wait so it doesn't look blocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Is that cool? Good, yeah? Yeah. Nice, perfect. <laughs>